So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a catalase test. A catalase test is an enzyme test. We are looking for the presence of the enzyme catalase, which is an important enzyme that a lot of bacteria use to help protect them against hydrogen peroxide. Some organisms make catalase, others do not. And you can see if an organism makes catalase by mixing the organism with hydrogen peroxide. If the organism produces catalase, bubbles will form in the hydrogen peroxide due to the enzyme using its catalase, I'm sorry, the bacteria using its catalase enzyme to break down the hydrogen peroxide. If the bacteria do not produce catalase, then no bubbles will form. To do a catalase test, you first want to get a clean microscope slide, and then you're going to incinerate your loop, and you're going to take a sample of your bacteria and smear it directly onto the microscope slide. You always want to make sure that you add the bacteria to the slide before adding the hydrogen peroxide because the loop itself can cause bubbles to form. Mix the bacteria directly on to the slide, considering your loop afterwards to get rid of the organisms. And then you're just going to add a few drops of hydrogen peroxide directly to the bacteria. We keep hydrogen peroxide at the front of the classroom. And when you add the hydrogen peroxide, you see the bubbles form. Some organisms produce lots and lots of bubbles when exposed to hydrogen peroxide. Others produce little tiny bubbles. Sometimes it can be helpful to actually look at your catalase test under a 4x scanning objective on your microscope to make sure that what you see are bubbles and not little clumps of bacteria. Next, we're going to use a catalase negative bacteria so that you can see what a negative catalase test looks like. You'll see the catalase test on your um, flowchart as a big indicator in your gram-positive bacteria. The staphs, like Staph aureus and Staph epidermidis, produce catalase, whereas your streps do not. Here I'm adding Enterococcus fecalis to the slide, adding some hydrogen peroxide, and no bubbles are formed. You can still see the bacteria on the slide, and sometimes there can be clumps. But it's very clear a positive test has lots of bubbles, whereas a negative test has none. 